It's no secret the Browns have struggled mightily in season openers since coming back to the league in 1999. Sunday's loss to the Ravens dropped the Browns record to 1-20-1 in season openers since 99. It's really incredible that they've been that unlucky. Now they have had several close calls in week 1, in fact every week 1 loss during the Butch Davis era was on a last second field goal. In 2001 the Browns lost to the Seahawks in the final seconds. In 2002 we all know what happened with Dwayne Rudd. And in 2003 the Browns fell to the Colts on a last second kick from Mike Vanderjack. So they've definitely been close, but no matter how you frame it, 1-20-1 just ain't gonna cut it. But instead of just harping on their week 1 failures, why not focus on something positive, like the last time they did win in week 1, which was all the way back on September 12th, 2004. I was just 9 years old at the time, and I'm sure there are a ton of people watching this who weren't even born yet, and I'm willing to bet most people who were adults at the time probably don't even remember much, so I think this is a great opportunity to take a trip down memory lane and talk about the last time the Browns won their season opener. Unfortunately, I only have select clips from this game, so I'm not going to be able to break it down with the amount of detail I'd like, but I'll make it work. So first we should set the stage. In 2004, the Browns were coming off a disappointing 5-11 record the year before. In the offseason, they parted ways with Tim Couch, and they made a big splash in free agency by signing Pro Bowl quarterback Jeff Garcia. And in the draft, they traded up one spot to select Kellen Winslow Jr. out of the University of Miami. So there was a little bit of excitement surrounding the Browns' offense, but overall expectations were small. Now, in week one of 2004, the Browns were hosting the Baltimore Ravens, and almost every expert picked the Ravens to win this game, mainly because of Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis absolutely shredded the Browns in 2003. He rushed for over 200 yards in each game, and he set a then-NFL record for rushing yards in a single game with 295. However, that would not be the case in the 2004 season opener, and that actually brings us to the 2004 season opener. Defense was the theme of the first half. Both offenses couldn't get anything going, and the only points were a Phil Dawson 37-yard field goal. And at the start of the second half, things weren't much better. Matt Stover did tie the game at 3 midway through the third, but so far the story of the game was how well the Browns were containing Jamal Lewis. They totally kept him in check, and he would only finish the game with 57 yards. Incredible given the ungodly success he had the year before. Something would finally happen at the end of the third quarter when Jeff Garcia hit Quincy Morgan on a 46-yard touchdown pass to put the Browns up 10-3, some offense at last. The Ravens couldn't counter and remained sluggish with Kyle Bowler throwing a costly interception at the start of the fourth. The Browns responded with a near 95-yard touchdown from Jeff Garcia to Andre Davis, but Davis was brought down by the turf monster. It's crazy because Davis had that 99-yard touchdown later in the season, and he almost had a 95-yarder here. That completion set up a 25-yard Phil Dawson field goal to put the Browns up 13-3. The Ravens would remain ineffective on offense. It really got ugly for them, leading to Kyle Bowler getting strip-sacked by Kennard Lang and the Browns recovering the ball inside the Ravens' 10. This would lead to perhaps one of the most memorable moments from the expansion era, which was Jeff Garcia rushing for a touchdown and jumping into the stands. That picture is worth a thousand words, honestly, and sadly, it's the only positive memory we have from a Browns season opener since 99. Another note from the game was Kellen Winslow getting some action. He caught four passes for 39 yards. In the end, the Browns dominated their division rival 20-3 in a win that you'd expect to impact the rest of their season. However, that was not the case as the Browns wound up finishing with a putrid record of 4-12. What's odd though is they did start 3-3 and they nearly knocked off that incredible 2004 Eagles team in week 7. But the wheels fell off after that and the Browns lost 9 of their last 10 games. Injuries were a major reason. Anyway, that is the story of the Cleveland Browns' last victory in Week 1, 16 years ago. Hard to believe. Hard to believe it's been 16 years, and hard to believe they haven't won an opener in that span. Now, the Browns have had some close calls since then. There was the 2006 opener against the Saints, the 2012 opener against the Eagles where Pat Shermer inexplicably didn't go for two to put the Browns up by seven, there was the near comeback against the Steelers, and of course the tie against the Steelers in 2018. So they haven't all been massacres, but they've got to win an opener at some point. It's getting ridiculous. Anyway guys, it's going to do it for this video. This was just a quick spur of the moment thing I decided to do. I find it just fascinating that the Browns can't find a way to win in week one, just like they can't find a way to win in Pittsburgh. Because don't look now, but these droughts are creeping up on 20 years. The Heinz Field drought is 17 years, and the season opener drought is 16 years. It's just incredible. But with all that said, I'm going to end the video. Before I go, please consider supporting me on Patreon, please follow me on Twitter, and please subscribe to my channel, of course. 
Until next time, I'm Raman Robbie, and thanks for watching.